Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have The Art of Skiing, starring Goofy. This is the 1941 animated short. Uh, <laughs> it's really self-explanatory. Goofy goes skiing, and you know it's not going to go well. It's not going to go exactly as planned, and he is skilled at <laughs> really uh, doing it the most difficult ways possible. Through this, uh, narrator John McLeish uh, tells you everything about skiing and how to properly dress and how to perform certain functions that even the most simplest, most green uh, skier could ever attempt. Also, uh, they're called she's, not skis, apparently. Um, I'm not a skier, so I that's something on me, but uh, either way, maybe that's changed since 1941. I have no idea. Skiers, shears, I don't know. Maybe tell me in the comments. Uh, but yeah, uh, wackiness ensues, and yeah, of course it's goofy. But then, strangely enough, John McLeish is the only voice you hear in this other than a yodeler, which is, I think, Hannes Scholl or something. Scholl. Uh, so there's yodeling in this, but there's no voice for Goofy. He makes no noise whatsoever, as far as I can tell. At least not classic goofy noises. So, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much all I can tell you. Uh, I, what I try to tell everybody whenever these things come up, these classic shorts with our favorite classic Disney characters, there's a whole section featuring these shorts. And if you ever, ever want to look at the reason why we have Disney+, Plus, why we have the Disney parks, why we have Disney anything is because of the animation, the works that these people did to create these shorts back in an era when <laughs> uh, the world was not exactly a wonderful place and uh, it brought a lot of joy to people back home and abroad and sometimes they were lucky enough to see some of these things uh, overseas when they're out fighting a war. So. Yeah, uh, this is this is probably one of those shorts that probably got played a lot of times and got lots of laughs from uh, our soldiers. So, and our uh, support for those soldiers throughout uh, the 1940s, through World War II. That's how long ago these things have been around. So, I say if you ever want to get an idea of just where everything came from, just check out that that section of Disney+. Plus. There are dozens. Not It's not exhaustive. It's not every single one. Some of them probably can't ex <laughs> survive into the modern time without a few apologetic edits or comments at the beginning. Um, so yeah, you won't find every single Disney short, but there's a lot of them. And it gives you context of where all this came from. None of this would exist without these shorts. So hot cocoa, wrap yourself in a blanket, just go through them all in an afternoon some Sunday. Or take off work. Who am I to tell you what to do? Let's pick tomorrow's episode. 566. 566. That's maybe, I mean, we're already in the thes. Maybe it's moved out by that point. No, yeah, we're definitely past that. 566. Oh. Let me make sure it's not 556. Five, I get dyslexic sometimes when it comes to numbers. 566 six is very much toward the end of the list. So, yeah, we're in the X's. In fact, we have the first X named title in this list. And can you imagine what might be on Disney Plus? It, it's cold in here. <laughs> it starts with an X. Well, we got a Marvel film, but it's not the MCU film. Of course, it's an X-Men film. And in fact, we haven't seen the first one yet. We've seen Logan, and we've seen all the Wolverines so far, but we haven't seen any of the classic X-Men films, like the first three. So we're going to actually start with the second one, with X2, X-Men United. I have an opinion. I have many <laughs> about, about Marvel films, about X-Men. I am an old-school X-Men fan, so X-Men fan. So yeah, uh, yeah, we'll talk about it tomorrow. X2, X-Men United on the next Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow with that. Bye.